Hi folks, uh, I just want to recommend uh, a series of books, the articles by uh, Keith Matheson, uh, September 17th, 2009, and it's the Doctrine of Scripture Recommended Reading. But there's quite a lengthy book list there, uh, William Whitaker, The Deputation on Holy Scripture, 1588, this story is told that Cardinal Bellarmine so respected the learning of Whitaker that he had a portrait of the man in his study. Whether or not this is true, this book is an outstanding testament as of his ability as a theologian. So that's a really good book to read on the Doctrine of Scripture. Louis uh, Gaussen, The Divine Author Inspiration of Scripture, 1847. There's the book. Classic by the Swift Pastor. was first recommended to me by Roger Nicholl. Then you have B.B. Uh, Warfield, Inspiration and Authority of the Bible, uh, a reform classic. E.J. Young, Thy Word is Truth, 1957. E.J. Young was a professor of Old Testament at Westminster Seminary and staunch defender of inerrancy. Don uh, Kissler, Solar Scripture Revised, 2009, impressive collection of articles on the subject of Solar Scripture. David T. King and William Webster, Holy Scripture, three volume, 2001. Uh, that's a massive volume, three volume work on the inspiration and authority of Scripture. Keith Matheson, The Shape of Solar Scripturia, 2001. Uh, and then some compilations Norman Geisler's Inerrancy, Don Carson, John D. Woodbridge, Scripture and Truth, 1983. D.A. Carson, Don D. D. Woodbridge, Hermeneutics, Authority and Canon, 1986. Philip E. Satteth Waite and F.D. Wright, Pathway into the Holy Scripture, 1994. Some recent books, John White, Scripture Alone, Exploring Biblical Bibles, Accuracy, Authority, Authenticity, 2004. R.C. Spruill, Scripture Alone, 2005. Um, the Erosion of Inerrancy in Evangelicalism Responded to New Challenges to Biblical Authority, J.K. Beale, 2008. Timothy Ward, Word of Life, 2009. This is a helpful new work dealing with the doctrine of Scripture, broadly speaking. Ward uses a lot of the insights of speech act theory and appears to believe that this entails a transla translation philosophy more akin to dynamic equivalence. I don't think this is necessarily so. That said, his unbiased defense of inerrancy is a breath of fresh air among contemporary books dealing with um, that. So, just put uh, Uh, N. Stonehouse, N. Ned Stonehouse and Paul Woolley, The Infallible Word, a symposium by members of the Faculty of Westminster Theological Seminary, 1946. J.I. Packer, Fundamentalism and the Word of God, 1958, is a good book to read. Uh, John Owen, The Divine Original Authority, Self-Evidencing Light and Power of Scripture. Published by the Banner of Truth, Volume 16. I'm not into Meredith Klein. I've studied a little bit, but uh, the structure of biblical authority, 1971. Uh, John Frame, The Doctrine of the Word of God, 2010. 
So those are some recommendations by Kruger. So I'll just get some more. So, so I, I, I'm doing this video to encourage people to be... Um, if you're being an apologist, if you're defending the faith, uh, this is monogism. Sorry. You need to know what you're defending, so you need to so you can get article here on the doctrine of scripture on monogism uh, Kevin D. Young doctrine of scripture Stephen J. Nichols um, the scripture doctrine Jonathan Dickinson uh, Protestant doctrine of scripture Cornelius Van Til these are articles, the scripture doctrine of divine, no, the reformed doctrine of scripture, Cornelius Van Til, antithesis and doctrine of scripture, John Frame, doctrine of scripture today, Hal Jones, scriptural doctrine, no, no, foundational doctrine, of, no, sorry, questions on the doctrine of scripture, uh, Francis Turretin, Recommended books on the doctrine of scripture. So let's see what they offer. Yeah, uh, Michael Kruger, Canon Revisited. Establishing the Origins, Authority and New Testament books. Wheaton, Crossway 2017. Dear Carson, The Enduring Authority of the Scriptures. Hardcover, Erdman 2016. John Piper, A Peculiar Glory. How the Christian Scriptures reveal the complete truthfulness. Crossway. Uh, Kevin D. Young, Taking God at His Word, 2014. It's a very helpful book. Uh, John Hanna, E.D., Inerrancy in the Church, Chicago, Moody, 1984. Uh, Poitras, Inerrancy and Worldview, Answering the Modern Challenges to the Bible, Crossway, 2012. You can get that free PDF. Uh, Poitras, Inerrancy of the Gospels, A God-Centered Approach to the Challenges of Harmonization, very helpful. Herman Bavinck's Reformed Dogmatics, Volume 1, will cover the Doctrine of Scripture. Um, Timothy Paul Jones misquoting truth a guide to the falsies to Bart Ehrman's quoting Jesus uh, Wayne Grudem John Collins and Tom Schreiner understanding scripture an overview of the Bible's origin, origin reliability and meaning Sinclair Ferguson from the mouth of God trusting reading applying the Bible and then uh, This is the Bible League Quarterly, um, and on here, on Bible League Quarterly, there's studying the Bible with the Covenanters, uh, God executing his word, our soul and sufficient authority by J.P. Thackeray, J.P. Thackeray, uh, sorry, J.P. Thackeray, God executing his word, our soul and sufficient authority, part two, J.P. Thackway, uh, The Glory of Scripture, John M. Brent Knoll, Our Soul and Sufficient Authority, Part 1, J.P. Thackway, Reading the Bible, J.C. Ryle, 
uh, the subscriptions to the epistles, uh, Malcolm Watts, um, AV or not AV, the question reconsider, JP Thackway, the Bible versus expediency, uh, but are all the variants real? Uh, Dr. P. J. Williams, the Word of God and the God of the Word, J.P. Thackway, Emblems of the Word, Hammer, Daily Readings, etc.